little bit ago, I posted this picture to Twitter of me working on this little 0.4 millimeter BSC part and printing it at home. Well, printing it took a while to get right. The assembly process, which a lot of people are daunted by, really wasn't that hard. All I had to do was use the same process I normally use, where I take some solder paste. This is that wonderful bismuth solder paste. Just dab it on all the pads with a toothpick. I love my toothpick method. Then put on the parts, including the tiny little accelerometer. It's really not that hard. Just kind of drop it on there any which way. Blah. Then warm up the hot plate. Warm is more than enough to, to melt it, but you know, just to speed things along, I hit it with some nice 220 degrees C uh, warm air. So you can see it liquefied it. This video, this clip is in real time here. Now, you might say, how do you get rid of all the bridges? Well, you just pick up the part that you're concerned about and smear it around everywhere. The cool thing about the fact that we're using the bismuth solder paste is that it's just completely coated with flux. So it's just flux and balls of bismuth solder, and the flux reduces or increases the surface tension just astronomically. So you can go tweak with the part, move it around, and as you start to spread out all the solder paste, the solder at this point, it's not even paste anymore, it just gets better and better until it's just right. Then go take it over to the edge and pull it off. And now I just go add a little bit more flux since most of it's burned off at this point and clean it up using a fine tip soldering iron. This actually just pulls off the extra little bits of solder there. Really no skill at all, just kind of pulling away from the chip. Um, this part is surprisingly easy. I, I have just been surprised at just how often this just works. It's a lot easier on parts that have exposed edges, like uh, TQFPs, a little bit harder on LGAs, uh, but it's still possible. It still works just fine. Uh, once all this is ready, just go sit back and enjoy the fact that you've now soldered a wonderful 0.4 millimeter pitch chip. Hope you guys liked it.